What's going on guys? It's me, Pyre9 here, and I'm just trying to give you a few tips and tricks on how to get easier quad feeds and to get them more frequently. Now, uh, a big reason why you'd want to get some quad feeds in this game is because of this popular mission called the Best of the Best, where if you finish all of them, you get this awesome sniper rifle, the Dragonov variant, called the Plague Score, uh, as well as some more XP and probably these calling cards and um, charms and emblems that you've seen all around the game. Now, to get this last mission done is to get one quad feed which is four uninterrupted kills inside the kill feed now it's not too difficult um the game mode that i like to play the most is definitely hardcore headquarters it's just easy it's quick it's um easy to get kills it's also easy to get killed but you have to watch out for that especially now you're going to want to use some some dead silence uh maybe a munitions box if you're running out of ammo quickly but usually dead silence is the way to go because it makes you become slightly faster and your footsteps are completely silent. So the loadout I'm going to be using is the Bison and the pistol of the X16. And um, there's just a few perks that I think double time is very important in hardcore because you got to get around the map quickly, get to the position where there's more people around you. Uh, Ghost helps you stay off those UAVs, those heartbeat sensors, and the radar drones, so you don't really get picked up by many people. And you can stay on your streak, stay on that that three piece that you just got to get that quality. Now, tune-up is very useful. Now, if you're using Dead Silence a lot, you're going to want to use tune-up because it, it reduces the charge of it by 40%, which means that you'll be getting your Dead Silence way quicker, running around the map with no footsteps and barely even being heard by any enemies. Now, I think stuns and semtex are very important. Stuns, just because if you throw a stun at a group of enemies, they're all stuck there. Like, even with Battle Hardened, which is on the third perk, it, it makes it it reduces the strength of flash and stuns, but it doesn't make it immune to flash and stuns. Which means that when you flash them or stun them, especially stuns because they stop your movement, they won't be able to run anywhere. You'll they'll have them just sitting, jumping up and down probably because they can't move. And it's kind of like a really OP thing in this game. Now another thing is the semtex. Now I've gotten semtex quad feeds just by myself, like just throwing a semtex on the HQ when everyone's on it and all your teammates are dead. It's just an easy way to get quad feeds that will really help you finish this challenge. Now another way to help you out is also the kill streaks. With the UAV is so important, especially if other people aren't wearing ghosts. You're able to see who's on the map with you and what's going around you. Now the VTOL jet also can watch your back for when people are trying to snipe you from those long distances or when they're when they're trying to attack you right away. So you get that VTOL jet up, you can stay on your streak, try and get a quad feed even with the VTOL jet, and it could also work out. The chopper gunner, I know it's a high streak, like getting 10 kills in a row is kind of hard to some people, but getting the, using the chopper gunner can actually get you a quad feed in 2 seconds. Like you can literally hop in your chopper gunner, like stay at the spawn of people because you can control where it lands, and you can get a quad feed in like 3 seconds like flat. Like. <laughs> Alright, so um, here we have the gameplay going on here. Now I'm, I'm rocking the bison, I will show the class after I show all these clips. But this is just one game where I just almost, yeah I got a triple kill here, if I could find another one at the spawn, would have been a quad feed already. Super quick, oh my another God. two piece. I just went off. Like yeah. as you can tell, I was really excited you about shot how I went. Now here, this is where the first quad feed happens in the game. I got two of them, and I knew that they spawned in here, right? So there's got to be a third guy, and there's the first quad feed. There it is. I know, right? See, very simple, very easy on hardcore. And then you just take one bullet, and it's very easy to get quad feeds. Now I'm just, I'm starting to go off here. I did want to try and get a nuke this game. See, I got another three piece, but I couldn't get the quad feed because he stopped spawning. Here, yeah, there's another three piece. Um, I'm pushing in to their spawn. I got three of them, but my teammate interrupted it, so I couldn't do anything else about it. Um, I, again, this is me. This is just gameplay. Hardcore headquarters. Just one shot kills on everyone. My teammate ran into my bullets there, but <laughs> you know, if it's, if it's a quad, if it's a quad, I'm just, you know. So, um, Bro, as like, the I'm gameplay progresses, you'll see that I get more and more kills until the, uh, the final clip at the end, which is, I think this is another quad feed. Yeah, right here. Yeah, there it is. So I got actually a six piece there, and then this is where I got my VTOL and my chopper gunner. So this is a little bit of gameplay of just me rocking the chopper gunner, mowing down kids and just getting the easy, easy kills that, kills that I could. Now, I did, I did want to get 100 kills this game, but I also wanted to get my nuke. So see, I'm, I'm sitting here waiting for them to spawn, trying to get this HQ. There's the first one. There's another second. And then I push up closer to them, where I get a third, but I couldn't get a fourth because my teammate interrupted that quad feed, like in the, in the kill feed. Now, um, here's where it gets pretty crazy right now. 
Now you're gonna see like five guys run out because we're capturing the HQ right now. So there's the first one, there's second, that's three, and then I wanted to see if I could get another, so there's another quad feed in the exact same game. That was also the play of the game, which you'll see back here right now. I can be kickishin' like a Adidas. By we, I mean only Ethan popped off. Hey yo, watch this, bro. Bop, bop, bop. Wait, is that another guy? Bop. Come on now, stop playing with me like that. Come on now, come on. Yo, and like I said before, but we have the monolithic suppressor just for more range and the sound suppression. Keeps you off the mini-map when you've got that three-piece going to a four. You don't want them enemies knowing where you are. Like, you, you don't want any of that, so you'll be very quiet. I have attack laser just for that aim down sight speed because it's so important in these hardcore game modes where you can get shot by one bullet and your streak is over. Um, no stock for the movement speed and the ADS speed. As well as sleight of hand, just so I can reload quickly, get back into my streak, and start killing more people. Uh, stipple grip tape is always a must. I use it on almost every single gun. The 8 on sight speed and the sprint to fire speed helps you out so much. It makes every gun feel a little quicker. Now, my secondary, I didn't use it that much in the gameplay, but it, it is pretty good. I use the lightweight trigger just so I can shoot as fast as possible. And then this is also just for that 8 out ADS speed, the side arms uh, featherweight. And then the monolithic suppressor is just the same as the PP Bison. Like I put it just so I can get rid of that, get more damage range and get rid of that sound suppression so that they don't hear me coming. Stipple grip tape, like I said before, always a must. And then fast melee in case someone's really close to me and I got to do something about it. So there it is. And um, so that's the class setup, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I just wanted to touch on a little bit more about the hardcore game mode, which is uh, the headquarters. Now, when someone's capturing the headquarters and your team has it, they every everyone on your team dies and doesn't get to respawn but the enemy team gets limited respawns until the headquarters either runs out of time or until they capture it and de destroy it so what you got to do is you got to hold back a little bit try and defend the hq as much as you as you as you'd like to because you want to get those dubs too but hold back a little bit try and get those wins and um, make sure that your teammates are giving you some good callouts. If you're playing solos, try and just stay back away from the headquarters until let your team capture it. And then when all the enemies run on it, just go for that quad feed. And I promise you, it'll be the simplest thing you've ever done. That being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you like it. And uh, comment below if you what you want to see next.